Okay, so for this video I thought it inappropriate to be wearing my festive gear, because what we are going to discuss, I have to restate an original point I had made long ago, around the time of the inauguration of Donald Trump, and also talk about something that would simultaneously make me a hypocrite, because I still eat some meat. Not much, but still. Hypocrite. If you haven't already guessed, yes, the subject is in fact animal abuse. The reason for this is because somebody put a video on my server. In the video, I believe the quartering covered a channel. Now I, because I was in bed at the time, was unable to watch the video, and because of the mountain of overtime I'm doing over the Christmas period, I was unable to download the videos in case the channel disappeared. So I don't know at time of recording if this channel still exists. Somebody has very kindly downloaded quite a lot of content and images and sent them to me, none of which I am going to show in this video. I have a very strong position on animal abuse. I spend most of my time around five dogs, three cats, a couple rabbits, some guinea pigs, and up until about five years ago, I had had pets for most of my life because I enjoyed the company, and also I thought it was a privilege, something which a number of people don't seem to share. My view on pets, or when you have a pet, is that one, you should be able to have the time to look after them. If you don't, don't have them. If you cannot afford to look after yourself, don't get a pet. Those two are very important. A third would be that pet is going to trust you eventually if you spend enough time with your pet. And this goes for cats, dogs, rodents, maybe not fish, but I think we all agree those three earlier mentioned species Yes, loyalty is almost a given for most. Okay, I would exclude a number of cats, but only because they're bastards. I'm sure many of you are thinking, dogs master race, and you probably are right. The point is, if you're going to have a pet, you have to have a certain type of character, and be in a certain position, I believe, to be able to give those pets what they deserve. They are, to many people, another child, or the child they don't have. So you want to spoil them, train them, look after them. But also, if you are their owner, like a dog, you have to parent a little so that they understand what they can and cannot do. Now, with this built up of trust, it is important you don't throw that in their face. There is such a thing, and I understand this, as discipline. And this is a murky area. Some would say, for certain types of breed of dog, you have to use a certain level of physicality, and you might have a point. In fact, you do have a point. For certain types of cat, you don't really have to do anything, as long as they know not to keep crapping in the hallway, to the point where you've had to replace the carpet with lament flooring and stick the cats in the outroom at night, which is like a room between the downstairs bathroom and the rest of the house, leaving the bathroom window open because, well, that smell, and they're not trained enough to use the toilet, is fine, I think. I may have lost myself in my point there. The point is, with a build-up of trust, the last thing you want to do to undermine that and encourage bad behaviour, or an inevitable backlash from either the animal kingdom itself, because karma is a bitch, or from other people, which is what happens when you post content online that shows you abusing animals, yeah, karma's still a bitch, and it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what country you are in, whether it be England, America, or in this case, Chile. It doesn't matter, because if you post a video online of you abusing an animal, there are going to be those who see it, and are utterly incensed by it. I am one of those people. I earlier mentioned I spend an inordinate amount of time around my sister's dogs, cats. Essentially a small farm without the farm, although they do have a back garden big enough for a farm. It's ridiculous. Understandably, once you have posted those videos online showing you abusing an animal, people are going to call to have your videos flagged, which is what the quartering I believe did, and rightly so. But not in the sense of flagging because hypocrite and free speech or anything like that. You are free to express yourself. Is it against the law in the country you are in? Well, as I earlier mentioned, you're in Chile. And yes, it is illegal. I know what you're thinking. How did you find out he's from Chile? It took three seconds for someone else to find it. Seriously. I'm not going to narrow it down any further. Last thing I need is someone spurging out about how someone's been doxxed by naming a country. Not a dox! I don't care about the dox. 
But Chile law, Chilean law, says, Ley 20.380 is the Chilean Animal Protection Statute. It recognizes animals as living beings and establishes the norms for the recognition, protection, and respect of animals in order to avoid unnecessary pain and suffering. This law punishes animal cruelty with imprisonment up to three years. Initially, upon seeing your channel, after having you linked and finally looking at a few things, somebody else who shall forever be known in perpetuity as the top misogynist on my server, Saki the Real, noticed that this rabbit hole was not exclusive to you. Turns out, there's a little network of people who take great pleasure in abusing animals and posting content online. Now, I earlier mentioned the law in Chile. What I didn't mention was YouTube's Terms of Service, which also outright ban this. We could first of all start with the copyright policy, where it says at 7.6, you agree that you will not post or upload any content which contains material which is unlawful for you to possess in the country in which you are resident. Now, you have posted content of you abusing an animal, which is illegal to ha do in your country. Therefore, this definitely applies. And then we skip over to the community guidelines for violent or graphic content, and of course, harmful or dangerous content, which is what all of this is. You could argue hateful as well, but I think we'll just focus on the harmful and the graphic violent content. My view on f abuse or violence in most forms that aren't conducted in a octagon or a ring are quite simple. You don't do it. You can think you're being entertaining all you want. You can think you're an edgy boy or edgy girl all you want, but those animals cannot fight back, realistically. I saw a video of a guy who picked up a kitten and launched it about a hundred yards and then landed in the middle of the road and didn't move and all you could hear was the yelping. When I saw that video, I put my fist through my monitor. I wanted to find the kid. The video was shared all over Facebook and eventually they were found. They were found because, it turns out, the internet doesn't like it when horrible little brats like you think you have a right to lord it over the animal kingdom in such a way that you would inflict unimaginable pain upon an animal for a kick. People like you are bullies. For you, based on the fact you even broke your own law, it could be courtesy of a butt-fucking in a prison, but I'm hoping it doesn't go that far and you learn your lesson quickly and openly apologize for the content you've been posting, which I actually don't think you'll have a chance to, because if YouTube obeys its own rules, you should be struck off the platform faster than Daddy05. Then again, since they're still busy fucking Sinatra over, which has truly astonished me by the way, because let's face it, it's rubbish, it's highly possible you're still on the platform at this present time, and if you're still posting that content of you abusing another animal, then I highly advise any one of my audience, and of course I will do so if I see it, flag his videos, report them. They break the basic community guidelines and terms of service. This kind of content of animal abuse is unacceptable. When it's somebody arguing over an idea, that's fine. When it's somebody inflicting harm upon another living being, no, that will never be acceptable. I will never accept that. And up until now, my flagging history was spotless. But this little prick and the other ones that I have found since? Yeah. I'm going to go through all of your channels and I'm going to report every single video I see of an animal getting abused. I might be here for a while. I may get someone else to do it as well. And other people, because quite frankly, this is a line that's being crossed. It isn't a free speech argument. Although I'm sure some autist is going to say it is. It isn't. Stop it. Anyway, as I'm in my judge outfit, I'm going to administer a sentence. Because I think it's appropriate that while in the middle of Christmas season, I'm having to bring this out of storage because of this absolute disgrace to the human race. Species? Race? Your Chilean law says three years. I'm inclined to give you three years. Not in an ISO cube, though. No. 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 I'm thinking 
that you take up the new occupation of delivering meat to the tigers by running through their enclosure with the meat strapped to your back. Anyway, I hope everyone has a lovely Sunday, regardless of this rather hateful, hateful person. And thank you all for listening. <laughs>